Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for July the 27th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Eli Lilly CEO John Lechleiter will retire from his position at the end of the year, having served in the role since 2008. Lechleiter will also step down as president while continuing to serve as non-executive chairman until May 31, 2017, at which time he will leave the board. Eli Lilly's board of directors unanimously elected David Ricks, current president of Lilly Biomedicines, to assume the position of president and CEO. Lechleiter commented Ricks brings to the role broad experience in commercial operations, along with an appreciation and understanding of research and development. In other news, GlaxoSmithKline posted a loss of £492 million for the second quarter, which reflected the impact of significant sterling currency adjustment of liabilities. Sales in the quarter lifted 11% to £6.5 billion, topping analyst estimates of £6.3 billion, with revenue from prescription medicines rising 2% to £3.9 billion. In addition, GlaxoSmithKline plans to invest £275 million at three of its manufacturing sites in the UK to boost production of respiratory and large molecule biological medicines. CEO Andrew Whitty noted that the investment is testament to our skilled UK workforce and the country's leading position in life sciences. And finally, second quarter sales of Bayer's prescription drugs rose 5.5% to 4.1 billion euros, boosted by the performance of recently launched products. Combined sales of the recently launched products Zarelto, Ilea, Zofigo, Stivaga and Adempas increased by 28.8% to 1.3 billion euros. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.